Hey, it's Marie Forleo, and you are watching Marie TV, the place to be to create a business and life you love. And this is Q&A Tuesday, except it's not a normal Q&A Tuesday. This is very special because I am not answering the question on this Q&A Tuesday. It's my very dear friend who also happens to be a New York Times best-selling author of this amazing book called I Will Teach You To Be Rich. And my dear friend is Ramit Sethi. Ramit, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. Today's question comes from Alexandra and she writes, I love watching your videos and I find them very inspirational. I own a real estate virtual assistant company that's fairly new. I recently watched your pricing video and I'd love to hear more. I charge per hour for most jobs, 15 bucks an hour, and I have a hard time raising that price for a few reasons. Number one, Realtors don't want to pay too much for a VA. Number two, I've had the same price for the past year and raising it now might be tough. The agents I currently work with already understand how valuable a VA can be. My question is, do I raise my prices and risk losing clients or grandfather the old clients in and raise the prices for the newer clients? As an entrepreneur, I'm working 7 a.m. to 2 a.m. on most days to keep up with the work while building the business and I don't have the funds to show for it. I'm in a crossroads where I think I might have to decide, as you mentioned in the video, fewer clients but higher income or a lot of clients and lower income. Any advice on this kind of situation? Thank you so much. So Ramit, what do, you, what do you got to say about that? I think it's a classic problem that entrepreneurs have where we believe if we raise prices, everyone will just desert us. And that's just not the case. What we're doing is we're making a lot of assumptions when we think that. We think that we're gonna walk into our clients, throw a piece of paper at them and say, I'm tripling my prices, pay me or leave. <laughs> and that's not the way you raise your prices, right? right? And also, pricing is strategic. If you're charging $15 an hour and you're working seven days a week and your business is not where it is, there's something wrong. Right. And I can tell you that your pricing is probably very, very low because you can hire a high school student for $15 an hour. Right. If you know the, the realtor market, you should be able to charge more if you can properly convey your value. Okay, well this is huge and I think you just hit the nail on the head about properly conveying one's yeah. value and this is where I think Alexandra is really struggling. Mm. So it's a mindset belief but also she doesn't have the tactics or the strategy to move ahead. Right, I imagine Let's put ourselves in the mind of a new mother. I want, let's go on a quick little journey. Yeah. So you're a brand new mother and you have this beautiful two day old son and you wanna take some portraits with you and your new son. So who do you wanna hire? Do you wanna hire John Jones who charges you know, $200 flat uh, and he takes pictures of babies, horses and tables? Right. Or do you wanna hire Mr. Richard Millington who only takes photos of newborn babies between the ages of one day and one week. He charges $1,000, but he has a beautiful portfolio and he can capture that moment for the rest of your life. And by the way, he charges $1,500. Oh my God. So, of course, number two, because you want this, the person who's specialized. Price, at that point, when he's conveyed his value, is a triviality. Now, am I saying everyone can afford $1,500? No, but for that subset of clients, they can, and because Richard Millington's portfolio is so strong, right. and he specializes in it, he doesn't take pictures of llamas and, and buildings, he takes pictures of babies, and he knows exactly what to do to convey that. He knows, for example, that mothers are really tired, so he's gonna go to them. Right. He knows everything about what that client wants. He can charge that, and the best part is, the clients will happily pay. Right? And that's the entire difference of being a commodity and just saying, for example, I'm a VA, which is problem number one. No one's ever gonna pay you that much more if you just call yourself a VA. Right. Versus being a real estate professional assistant or something like that, Ooh. Right? which gets exactly at the heart of what these realtors want. Right, I love that. And you know, even just the languaging versus uh, VA and real estate professional assistant or professional real estate assistant, completely different positioning and it's just a matter of a few words. It is. So she had a very specific question of how would I raise my rates? Right. So let's talk about some scripts that I might use. And I, I teach this to my Earn 1K students who want to know how to earn money on the side using freelancing. And I sort of script it out for them word for word because there's a very clear way of raising your rates where people actually respond very well to it. By the way, I've had this happen. People who actually raise their rates on me yeah. using my own script. And I was like, okay, well, you did it right. What can I do? Here you go. Here's the check. Did you actually feel that way? Yes. Yeah. Because, and here's the thing. 
if they were, I didn't feel cheated. Yep. I wrote the script and I still didn't feel cheated because they were actually delivering me massive value. And I was happy to pay and I didn't want to lose them. That's awesome. So that's, that's the whole point of a win-win with your client is if you're offering massive value and you show them how you're going to do that in the future, yeah. it's not adversarial. It's actually like, okay, I understand. I understand that. Let's just continue doing business. Yeah. So here's what I might say. I might say, first of all, I might send out a little survey <clears throat> to my client saying, how can I improve my work with you? What is it that you're looking for this year? If budget was no concern and if you could have me help you do anything, what would it be? So that already is massively valuable insights. So you're gonna learn what they want. Then you can go and you can prepare a letter or an email and you can say, uh, you know, hi, Josh, the client. Uh, I wanted to just talk to you about a couple things uh, in terms of our engagement together. First of all, in the last year, this is what we've done together. I've helped you manage your email inbox, saving over six hours a day. I've helped you refer you 19 clients, generating a total of $450,000 and X dollars in commissions, and I've helped you do X, Y, and Z. This year, one of the things you told me was you're looking for A, B, C. Now, I'm gonna be adding A as a complementary part of my services to you. That's because I've heard from a number of clients that you want that, and so I'll be able to do that for one hour a week for you as a complementary part of us working together. The other thing is I'm becoming more selective in the clients I work with. Now, you and I have had a great time working together. We've generated $450,000 in revenue, and I've helped save you know, countless hours, uh, my rate is going to be going from $15 an hour to $25 an hour. If that's something that you're not comfortable with, please let me know. I'll be happy to refer you to someone else who might be better fit for your cost needs. But uh, if this is something that works for you, these are my plans for the next 30, 60, and 90 days, and I would look forward to working with you together. Ooh, that was so good. Like I, I, was, I wanted to hire you or hire <laughs> whoever you were talking about. It was that good. The, yeah, the beauty of it is you're not cheating anybody and right. you're not making them feel bad. You're talking about what you've done, where you're going, and what you could do for them. You know what I love about this is it forces the entrepreneur to deliver more value and articulate what they're doing and also think ahead. So it actually, what you're describing forces every entrepreneur to become a better entrepreneur. And that I absolutely love. Yeah, why should you get paid more if you're not doing anything more? Just because you've been around for, for you know a year? I don't care. I don't care as the client. Tell me how you're gonna make my life better, make me more money, save me more time, that gets a raise. So if this forces you to be a better entrepreneur, I'm all for it. It's awesome, great, great. I love, this answer is like fantastic. And I also know um, for everybody watching, y'all are gonna be like, I want the script. Listen again, write it down yourself. <laughs> that's the way you're actually gonna learn it. Am I right? That's right. Yeah, that's awesome. So um, the, what we like to do always on Marie TV is challenge our viewers, because you know you watch Marie TV. As a side note, Rob Meat thinks, Rob Meat, uh, he thinks Marie TV is kind of crazy, and he's told me that, right? Well, I just, I don't dance for my readers. Okay, so let's, let's <laughs> start not? with that. Everybody who wants to see Rami dance for their readers, you can leave a comment below and let us know that. I know you maybe won't do it, but you know, yeah. we'll see that. Anyway, <laughs> we like to challenge our viewers. We love to challenge you to actually take what we talk about and put it into action. So I think it's a great challenge today. Um, let's talk about, have you ever been afraid to raise your prices? Or have you raised your prices and what happened? And of course, Rami, you might want to add something to this. Do you have anything to add in terms of a challenge for our readers? Yeah, I'd love to challenge them. I'd love to say, what? write out what you could say to your client mm -hmm. to get them to raise it. Even three or four sentences, what could you say that would deliver massive value and make them happy to pay you more? Ooh, let's do that one. Let's do that one. So if you want to talk about what you've done in the past, that's great, but I really love Ramit's challenge about adding three or four sentences of the value that you can add to your client's life that will help you raise your rates and help them say yes. Let's do it. I'm looking forward to it. Awesome. Rami, thank you so much for being on Marie TV. This was awesome. You delivered so much value, and I love having you here. Thanks for having me. Remember, all of the action happens after the episode at marieforleo.com, so go there and leave a comment now. Did you like this video? Then like it and subscribe, and of course, share it with your friends. And if you want even more great resources to have a business and a life that you love, get your butt over to marieforleo.com and make sure you sign up for email updates because I tell you things in email that I just don't say in videos, and I know you want to hear it. So thank you so much for watching Marie TV, and I'll see you next time. Hey, RHH Live is coming up. Are you coming? Go to rhhlive.com for details. I just showed up today. Yeah. I just woke up. <laughs> he just woke up. <laughs> we can't do this again because Remy will literally not be my friend anymore. <laughs> or he just, actually, he'll still be my friend. He just won't come back. Email to the friend. Show. Email friend. He'll be <laughs> you. <laughs>